Okay, it's all cooled down and it's mostly back together. Got to remember to tighten the back screw on the fan uh, before you put the shroud back on. And also make sure there's no wires close to the aluminum block that's back there. We don't want, that, we don't want any wires getting too hot. So. so the shroud just plugs into the fan like that. And then the last screw goes in front here. It goes both through the shroud and the fan housing. It's a little bit tricky to get the last one. Alright, so we got a brand new uh, print nozzle and we got our brand new tube and we're hoping we're going to get lots of uh, easy prints from this point forward. It's been very frustrating the last couple weeks. So I think it started when I started printing in cold temperatures and I had to start cranking the, temp the heat up and um, I think that's what's causing our problem. So hopefully this is going to work out better. We'll do some test prints and see how they come out. Okay, we've got the printer set up in its normal position here. It's heating up. And we're going to be printing our shiny copper filament we've been printing with for months. We're perfectly until it started getting cold. So I think it was a combination of cold weather and the bad uh, feed tube because I was running at hot, such a high temperature. So we're going to start off with the temperature tower, back to the basics. Then we'll try our layer adhesion and uh, we'll see what goes from there. So. First thing is the temperature tower. So for the temperature tower, we're going to go from 234 to 244. So in warm weather, we were printing this at 220. But even though you know we had the tube problems, I guess you know if 234 looks perfect, then yeah, maybe I'll do another temperature tower at a lower temperature. But I'm going to assume I need to print it at least a little bit higher temperature than I was before because of the cold conditions. Right now, today. It's been raining, so the humidity is high, and it's about 50, 56 degrees. So there's a lot of cloud cover, so it's keeping the heat in. But we're going to start with 234 to 244 and see how we do. Over to the time lapse. So we've got the bed leveled. I had to back off quite a bit. I mean, not quite a bit, but mo more than with the other nozzle. I think this nozzle sticks out slightly more than the other one, which is fine. There's plenty of adjustment in the bed to satisfy this uh, new nozzle. So now we're going to load the filament for the first time. It's already preheated. See how it comes out. It's feeding nicely. Here it comes, the first filament. All right. Hopefully the first of many lines of filament, which are successful. Alright, so that's good. Comes off cleaning. Alright, so now we'll start our print of our temperature tower and see how it does. Let's take a look and see how we did. Uh, let's get rid of the string first. At least part of it anyway. And get it off the bed. Bed adhesion is good, maybe a little too good, so maybe temperature's a little bit high on that. Uh, and we're, we're pretty in cold conditions, that's why we're getting such high temperatures here. And the pointy things look pretty good. Bottom is a little messed up because of the overbed adhesion. 240 looks pretty good. 244 doesn't look bad either. I kind of hate to go that high with uh, PLA, so I think we're going to go with 240 probably. And um, we need to do the bed adhesion and layer adhesion test. We'll do that next. And uh, and we'll see how we do on that. And in any case, we're, we're printing okay. So that's an improvement over what was happening before, where it would not do bridging and so forth at the normal PLA printing temperatures I was using. So we need to up it a little bit in these cold conditions. So 
So that's what's happening with this. So we'll go ahead and uh, clean up the bed and uh, reset for the bed adhesion test and layer adhesion and uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we start the uh, bed adhesion test, I'm going to show you my setup. So <clears throat> it is cold in here, so again, I'm using the heat lamps on the side and also I have the uh, towel on top of the enclosed, using the enclosure completely closed, including the door closed, the top on, and so forth. And then when it's super cold, I can lay this towel over the front of it like this. And to keep it from moving around, there's a lot of vibration, so I use this heavy, these are some of my test prints from before, these are a Beskar, uh, with steel inside of them, They're, these are these are some of the prototypes, so. This is a nice, nice way, it's not too heavy, maybe uh, two or three pounds, so that's enough to keep the towel from falling off, which happened a few times before. Alright, so let's get started with the adhesion test, and if this is successful, we're ready to crank it back up again, that'll be good. Okay, well, um, I printed this with 100% fan after the first layer, and we see we have some bed adhesion or layer adhesion problems. So, not worried about that. I, when I'm printing stuff in the cold, I usually use 20%. So let's see how the lettering looks. So, bed adhesion is good. This is a brand new print surface. So, the bottom looks okay, and the raised lettering looks fine. Yeah, a little bit bubbly here. A bit bubbly. The in indented lettering looks fine. So I just had this layer adhesion problem, but I'm not. I say I'm not worried about that because I'm going to lower the fan speed. So, all right, we're off to the races with printing with our new nozzle, a new uh, heat break tube. So we can see the results of our new uh, nozzle and tube. We have really high quality outer rim credit for that. We had a lot of problems with these where it wouldn't start right, a lot of uh, clogging and so forth, and now it's coming out beautiful. So. Thumbs up for the new Micro Swiss nozzle and new Capricorn tubing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.